Even though I've collected thousands and thousands of dinosaur bones and other fossils, every fossil that I find is just quite a thrill because you're the first person to have ever seen that particular dinosaur bone. And then it's a lot of fun because then it's a guessing game. It's like, well, what is it? It could be anything. It could be the skull. It could be a rib, but you just never know. And you slowly uncover it. So you can see right here, there's just a little bit of bone poking out of this big iron concretion. And it's only about that big in diameter. And we're, we're chasing the animal kind of into the hill. And one of the important things about not only this dinosaur, but kind of this whole valley here, is that we have several dinosaurs preserved. We have a hadrosaur here. Across the valley, we have a triceratops. Across the valley over there, we have you know, a Tyrannosaurus rex. So this is basically how you find a dinosaur. You know, you're walking around, looking in these gullies, and then you spot a piece of bone. And you can see it's very porous. And then it's, you know that it had to travel down, you know, force of gravity. You can see the bone trail. Here's a bone, here's a bone. Follow the trail of bone up. And then here you have a shin bone of a ductal dinosaur, really broken up. And then here's where it would articulate with the, the knee joint. I think a big misconception in paleontology is that you just kind of you go out in the Badlands with your brush and you brush off a complete articulated velociraptor hand. And, and that we have a lot of high-tech technology that we can image the ground with and to determine where the fossils are. And that's just not the case. You walk around you know, in the Badlands out here, and you'll pick up numerous just chunks of dinosaur, chunkosaurus, that's what we call it. And, and that's about it. So usually you find piles of bones. And so this specimen is, is unique in that it's, it is articulated, meaning that the bones are in, in the right order here, making it a, a much more significant specimen than your, you know, the dozens and dozens of, of, of chunkosaurs that we find. And I've been looking in, in the Hell Creek Formation for about 17 years now and I found only a handful of articulated dinosaurs. You know, a lot of people always think of the Hell Creek Formation, you know, they think about the dinosaurs, Triceratops, and Hadrosaurs, and T-Rex, but turtles also made up a very large component of the ecosystem then. And bits of turtle shell are really, really common out in the field. But turtles that are this well preserved where you have complete shells like this. And then here you have a, a, a beautiful turtle shell on its side. So this is where the arm would, would come out right here. And here is where the, the leg would come out. And you can actually see this beautiful leg preserved. And then this exquisite foot all the way down to each of the claws. Turtles as a whole have survived many extinctions, including the world's greatest extinction, as well as one that killed the dinosaurs. But unfortunately, turtles today are not doing so well, and that's because of humans and the fact that humans like to eat turtles. So their numbers are actually starting to dwindle. 